guys, uh, welcome back to Outwork Outdoors. This is Connery. Uh, today is halfway through the season. Actually, it's like 80% through the season. We got like a three-week gap between tournaments, and the kayak is in serious need of repairs. I got cracks going all over the place. Some people have seen these cracks, and they say these are the worst they've ever seen. Let me show you what I got. This is my 2014 Pro Angler, and it's got some crazy cracks. I mean... Look at it. Crack all around here. This is the base of the seat, which I've taken off. This is over here. Okay. And then it's being cracked in here. It cracked around here. Into this spot. And it's cracking on the other side, too. This is the second time I've fixed this. Uh, the first time I fixed it, I just basically put a car jack down here. Lifted this back up to the point where this is close enough. And I just uh, use this welder. It's actually a solder welder from Weller. I'll put the uh, links down in the video description so you guys can go by the exact one. But the main key to this wel welder, or it's actually a solder welder, but I'm just using it for welding plastic. But you want this flat, um, you want this flat piece on there. You know, the flat dish looking uh, bit, you could say. That's the one where you can like press down and like uh, pat things down with. That's key. If you get the blade one, that's just straight blade, it's not gonna look as good. But <clears throat> anyhow, um, this like I said, this is the second time around, so I'm learning from my first time. Um, the thing is, I like to stand up a lot on this kayak, so every time I stand up, I put like a hundred pounds right here, and I put a hundred pounds on the side, and that just puts a lot of stress in this area because Hobie has a uh, reinforcement tube down here. So it puts a lot of stress on this. That's probably the reason why it's cracking all this. And on top of that, the seat puts a lot of stress on it. So it puts a lot of stress on everything. I think this is only a problem in 2014s. I haven't heard much about it on the units after that. But even with seats cracking, I've seen a whole bunch of weird stuff on the Hobie forums. But uh, okay, let's go underneath, and I'll show you what I did. That's what I did. I hope you guys can see all this. Okay. Just a mock-up, not permanent, but you get the idea. Reinforcement. Okay. So if you guys didn't catch that, let me just show you what I did. We have a, uh, I think it's only a half inch, half three quarter, uh, one foot rod that move across this way. And another piece that goes across that one, and then I got a lateral one that comes this way. And I have it there using uh, this. This is just a turnbuckle. Three eighths inch turnbuckle. Well, the back of this. Turnbuckle with these ends on it. You know. And basically, what I'm doing is. I'm just using a turnbuckle. Instead of pulling things in, I use it to spread things out. So when I, so I, it allows me for adjustment. So I can, when I turn it, turn the turnbuckle, it'll push up on this and it'll push up on that side. It'll actually reinforce this whole area. So when I'm putting my weight down on this, um, I'm actually putting the weight down on the bar instead of the holdy uh, pole, you can say. And I'm still contemplating if I want to actually build another one that comes all the way across here and across that way just to have my full weight on the aluminum frame or not. But as of right now, I'm thinking that's, that's strong enough. But if I start seeing a problem, you know, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll build a full frame. But as of right now, that's all I got. And as for uh, repairing this, okay, so how you use this is fairly simple. Basically, what I've been doing is I've been uh, turning on. You can see when it turns on. You see the light turn on when you pull the trigger. And then what you do is you just, let's see, let's see, let's line it up real good. So basically, the tip's getting super hot and you're just melting the plastic. As you can see, it's melted that. I actually want to jam it in there a little bit. My technique I've been trying to do has been like, 
kind of jam it in there and then pull pull back on it. You know? Jam it in there and kind of pull back on it. And what you'll get is you'll get these weird like horseshoe looking things, shapes. You can tell if it's a welded good or not too because that one's not that good because you can still see the crack right there. So do that one again. Man, I'm fairly sure this is what the kayak shops do when you take them in for repair anyways. So you can fix it yourself if you want. Or if you uh, don't feel like you can, then uh, have somebody else do it for you. But I'm kind of a DIY guy, so I can do this myself. And yeah, it's not going to look as good as it once did. That's just the truth about it. But, that's all you're doing. You kind of just kind of do that until you get it all back together. I mean, I have a marine mat that I'm, I plan to put on top of this kayak anyways. So once this is done, uh, I guess I'll install my marine mat. And it'll look a lot better than before. Or with this on at least. And you could add more if you want, but since mine's just a crack and it looks like I don't need to add any more, then I'm not gonna. But like, you, like I said, you could always smooth these out if you want. Yeah. Not the best job because I'm holding the camera phone and trying to do the same time, but you guys get the drift. Take your time, you can actually make it look really nice. Uh, you can add more plastic to it, you can do all types of new different things. But I'll show you guys the uh, finished product in a bit. We're done, let's see what we got. So that's what you got. That's what you got to uh, look at. It's not pretty, but it is fixed. Uh, we did melt it all the way through, and it is bonded. So. It is fixed, and with the reinforcement underneath, I have a good feeling about this one, you know? Got a good feeling about this one. There's both sides. This looks kind of bulgy here. I might have to turn that back down a little bit. But, overall, pretty happy with the results. Uh, like I said, we, uh, we use this, and only this. Didn't even use filler material, so you don't even need filler material. Um, but it would be nice to fill in some of the, like some of these little spots right here. Because you, you do have kind of like a depression here a little bit. It would be nice to just fill that in if you had some spare uh, plastic. But regardless, it's pretty good and uh, pretty happy with it. I'm going to have to adjust the uh, brackets on the underneath uh, just to make sure everything's a little more level. We're overall pretty happy. Good for another season. Thanks to the weather. And that's it. So, uh, that's how to repair your kayak. <laughs> so, anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, you watch this far already, please consider subscribing. Uh, that's what we do. We do a lot of just everyday stuff. I mean, we do all types of bass fishing, too. We do tournaments, fun fishing, largemouth bass. We do electronics videos. Well, we're starting to do electronics videos. We do a lot of DIYs, just like the one you just saw. And we do a lot of striper fishing, white bass fishing, john boat fishing, and even bank fishing. So... We kind of cover the gamut of everything. That's why probably we're not super popular because we do too many things. But, you know, if you're one of those guys too where you're, you're just not confined to one diff one thing, uh, give us a sub and I'm sure you'll be disappointed. All right, guys. See you on the next one.